Hey guys, how's it going? Today's your boy Brandon and today we are in Itaewon and we're going to be interviewing some foreigners that are living in Korea and we're going to be asking them the most important question, what brought them to Korea? Anyways, let's get it. Woo! That was me walking away. That was a really bad walk away. Bruh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. Where are like, you from? I'm from Mali, Africa. Hi, I'm Hunter. I'm Hi. Bruh. Hi, I'm Hunter. I'm from Texas, America. Uh, yeah, my name is Mike. I actually live in Busan. Hey, how you doing? I'm Watson. And where are you from? I'm from Jamaica. Where are you from? What's your uh, name? My name is Ramya. I'm from India. India? What brought you to Korea? I'm studying school. You're studying in school? What yeah. school do you go to? Sungyeol University in the Anyang. Anyang, Anyang. Anyang, okay. Yes, yes. I was a community organizer in the U.S. Got a little burned out. I wanted to take a break. I was teaching part-time, teaching refugees for the Tennessee state government. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, the okay. United States. And I had a friend who lived in Jeju and was moving to Busan. And he was like, hey, just come chill out in Korea. You can, it's like easy to travel to Japan. You can explore Asia, teach, mm -hmm. hang out. So I did that, but then, you know, met my now wife, fell in love. So now I'm, now I'm in Korea for the long term. A long time ago, I came here like six years ago. Um, I got a scholarship in university. I always wanted to travel abroad. And Korea was the easiest one. They actually paid me to come to Korea. It was interesting. I lived in the countryside. It was obviously not my first choice, but they said, we'll give you some money. You live in the countryside for six months. And I was like, you know what, that's that's good. So I, uh, I lived in the countryside, did all of that. What brought me here? Yes, sir. Um, the culture, the people, meeting people like her definitely motivated me to come here. And what about you? Uh, so I work in Korea in an IT firm. So yeah, work brought, brought me here. How is, how is that working in an IT firm? Um, I don't exactly work in software. I work as a marketer in an IT firm. Um, it's it's okay so far. I wouldn't say it's the best work culture though. That nine to nine? Mm. Uh, kind of, yeah. 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 Uh, I was here for the weekend. Uh, we had a press conference yesterday. We're organizing a Hagwon Teachers Union. Oh, I, I read about that. <laughs> so yeah, we had our press conference yesterday. So How did that press conference go? Oh, it was amazing. We had like 65, 70 people or so. Went on for about four hours. We had lots of teachers speaking about the horrible labor abuses going on. Our union, Korean union representatives spoke. For, uh, we had a lot of press there. Some articles already dropped today. So it was really good. How was living in the countryside? Interesting. Um, I, I taught at an elementary school in the countryside for talk. It's like a little brother of Epic, I don't know. After you finish school, do you plan to stay in Korea? No, I'm going to make sure my country. You're going to go back to Mali? Yeah, yeah. You're going to take the education and run? Yeah, maybe I'll come back to Korea. Share. Just what the kata? What the kata, what the kata money. What do you do now? I'm a, still a teacher. I, um, after that six month stint, I went back and I graduated. And I was like, man, I, I really miss Andong. You know, like, there were times that it was really boring. During the week, you don't have anything to do. And so, like, I got cabin fever mad, like, as the winter set in. And I was like, I don't want to be here. But then I went back to America and I was just like, I really miss Korea. I really just miss so many things about it. And I mm -hmm. want to try to go back. Maybe I'll live in Seoul this time and see what it's like. And that was 2017. So that was six years ago. <laughs> so you are a teacher here? Or are you, but are you just a community organizer? But no, yeah, my day job, I teach at a government welfare center in Busan. It's like for like kids who can't afford ha traditional hagwons. And then I, you know, teach private classes and stuff because I have F visa, it's illegal for me to do that. If you can change one thing about the states, um, what would you do? The states, uh, I wish they had a labor movement as badass as Korea's labor movement. Because yeah, working with our union, Korean Confederation Trade Unions, it's just like, Korea has such a strong tradition of like social struggle. And mm -hmm. so it's, I, would, I would like to see more of that kind of stuff in the United States. What's one thing that Korea has that you wish India had? Okay, I wish um, in India, the work ethic. Even though, yeah, the work culture is very difficult here, but the, their work ethic is really good. They're given a job, they will do it. Yeah, I think that's something which is lacking in Indians. Some of them are very lazy. Yeah, so I think that's something that I, I want in India. What about you, sir? For sure, the convenience. Like, there's so many ways to get around. There's so many food options. Oh my goodness, like last night we had Thai. We've had Mexican. We're gonna have Italian next week. So the variety, so much to indulge in. And then of course you have transportation is so convenient. They're on time too. Correct. Like, man, you, you can set your watch by it, you know? So that's definitely one thing I really do wish we had for sure. Yeah, that's, I think that's one of the best things. Just having everything on time, the bus, the train, and taxis what? being relatively cheap mm -hmm. compared to the states. And they even apologize when they're late. Like, you don't, you don't really get that. Correct. You don't really get that. So I respect that accountability. There's a lot of that here. Mm -hmm. 
Um, public transportation, 100%. We're in Itaewon right now, mm -hmm. right? My house is a two minute walk from here, which is cool. I mean, yeah, I guess maybe you have this in the cities, but I'm from like a small town in Texas. Even when I went to the cities in Texas, aside from Austin and 6th Street, like in, you know, Rainy Street, you don't really have an area of the city that's just super condensed. Mm -hmm. It's all packed. If I wanted to go to a bar in San Antonio, I'm gonna have to drive to that bar. Yeah, you can't drink. Maybe you have one beer, right? That bar is not good. What do you do? You hop in your car and you drive to the next bar, and that's like 10 minutes away, 15 minutes away. You can't Uber to each different place. Correct. That just this is ridiculous, right? So just the accessibility is just not there. You have to have a car in America. I mean, it's nice to have a car here. Like you can go travel to the countryside and things like that, but you don't need a car whatsoever. Correct. So I I, I dislike how America is just so car focused. So you said you're from Mali. How is how is Mali? I've never been there. Mali is in the Africa. It's the West Africa. So, I know it's in Africa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean like yeah, how it's, is it's it? It's good, it's good. Is it how how different is it than here? Too much different. Yeah, very different? Yeah, very different. Because Mali is the Muslim country, you know. Okay, it's yeah, Muslim nine, country. Nine nine three percent Muslim. Are you Muslim too? Yeah, I'm Muslim. Okay. How is it being Muslim in Korea? Mm, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. I don't know, just question. <laughs> not bad, yeah. Are you able to get the food that you need and everything? Yes, yes, yeah. Okay, that's good. Any Anything you want to say? Yeah, I love Korea. It's cool. You know, I just complained about the Hagwon system, but that's not representative of Korea. Korea is a great country. It's amazing in all these kinds of ways. But if you are considering moving here to teach, just do your research about Hagwons. Look up the company you might sign a contract with. Consult with other people to make sure it's legit. Uh, and join our union, Korean Confederation of Trade Unions, KCTU. So that's a, an umbrella of unions. Our union is uh, General League of Unions. Well, we just started this union a few months ago, but we're getting probably close to 100 members now. So okay. it's going well. Hagwons can be it can be an awful work environment, but don't let that ruin your experience in Korea because it's much more than just that, you know. Correct, correct. Yeah, there's there's bad workplaces in every country. So because yeah. I know a lot of people, they they come here for like a year right after college. It's maybe their first full time job, and then they get really bitter about Korea because it was their first work experience. Mm -hmm. But I always try to tell the younger E2s like it's not a Korea problem, it's a capitalism problem. Like <laughs> working in the U.S. sucks too, <laughs> but there are there are good places to work. You just got to do your research and like find the the good ones. That would be my message to anyone considering moving to Korea. It's an awesome country. All kinds of great stuff here, but don't let the Hagwon horror stories on Reddit dissuade you from the correct, moving. Correct. Um, nothing, nothing, you know. Um, I hope that you enjoy your time in Korea as much as I have enjoyed mine. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, interviewing me. I like the one piece. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. One yeah, piece drip, <laughs> anime drip. You. Hey! Oh, I like that shirt. Hmm. You should. Can I get that shirt? You should definitely check out our clothing store only on Tuesdays. Only on Tuesdays. Only so on is it like o only open on Tuesdays? Yeah, hey, we, we make money every day. So okay, okay, okay. Every every day is Tuesday. Ship on Tuesdays. Ship on Tuesdays. <laughs> thank you, man. Yeah, thanks, man. I don't want you to miss your bus. So I appreciate it. Oh, cool. What was your name one more time? Mike. Mike. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. But uh. <laughs> If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and leave in the comments below what, what kind of questions I should ask people later. And like always, you guys, fighting. We gotta wave. Yeah, anime. <laughs>